Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. I just got back from a trip overseas and um, Aptera's released a lot of stuff. I put out a picture of uh, where I was visiting and I asked people to guess and there were a lot of good guesses. Congo, I think Vietnam, Tijuana, Colombia, Vietnam was Thailand, Costa Rica, Costa Rica, Indonesia, Puerto Rico, Philippines, England. Um, Colombia, Laos, Thailand. So everyone's thinking Southeast Asia or South America, Central America. Those of you guys who guessed Central America were the closest. I would this this picture is actually this is from Honduras. So we were in Honduras um, for work for the past week, and I just got back during that time. Aptera released um, a pretty important video showing the first production part. So I thought we'd go over that together and talk about it. Hey Aptera fans, it's Chris. We've had an amazing start to our solar summer. From hanging out with pro surfers in Huntington Beach, to hanging out at Comic-Con with our favorite superheroes. Uh, that looks like that's Audra in, a, in the Wonder Woman outfit there. To seeing the horses race in Del Mar, and spending time with Sandy Monroe at the Tesla takeover. It's been amazing to see a whole new host of people see the Aptera and experience what we're about. And thanks to your support, we've had tremendous progress with our accelerator program. We've raised over $20 million with this effort, and it'll be great to see it fill up through the next coming months. It's allowed us to make great progress with our supply chain, releasing production parts from the suspension to the frame to the body structure to everything that will make up Terra great. The first tools from CPC have been developed, and we've actually stamped our first parts. Okay, so this is the important part of this video. The other, most of the other stuff in this video we've uh, known about. You know, we knew about the solar summer stuff, the you know the uh, the surfing event and the Del Mar racetrack and Comic Con and Tesla takeover. So those are all things we know about. And later on, they talk about the um, the sort of the grant they got with the uh, tax exemption for a lot of their um, um, a lot of their supplies. But these are uh, pictures of the production parts. So Aptera sent me some high res pictures. So let's take a look at them uh, right here. So these are the, the, the parts and you can tell this is the, the uh, fiberglass SMC parts that are at the side. And I noticed something while I was looking at this, which um, I probably should have noticed earlier, but didn't look at it. Um, it's just the bottom part of the side. There is this, so this is the door aperture where the door goes in and you don't see the upper part of it. It's just the bottom part of it. And you see both sides. This would be the right side of the vehicle and this would be the left side of the vehicle. And you can see that there's uh, some material that needs to be cleaned up on the edges. So when they stamp these things out, it extrudes the material out the sides and then they're going to need to uh, trim these edges to clean them up. So this is what the uh, material looks like. These are what the parts look like straight out of the stamper, I think. And then um, they kind of blurred out whatever writing they put here. So I'm not sure. These parts are still in Italy. They are not in San Diego at this point. Um, they're still being held at uh, CPC's facility. And... Um, I think the plan is that when they have all the parts, they will build the body at CBC and send the body assembled over to San Diego so they can build the things. All right, so this is the part. And then let's look at, uh, if you look at this picture, it represents this part here in this render. So this was the render we had before. And in the render, you see this upper portion um, that it looks like it's one piece. However, it's very clear that this is not a single piece here. What we're seeing is this lower piece and this upper piece will be stamped as a separate part. And um, let's see, let's go back here. And if you look at this um, video from uh, four months ago, this is when they were showing the actual dies. And you'll see that this is the just the lower part of the thing. And they put another piece in here. I don't know what piece this is. But yeah, this is the uh, finished part. And you see the, the presses right there. That's when they were looking at it from four months ago. Okay, then. It's been great to see the metal being cut and those tools actually being put in. Okay, so let's look at these. That have formed the first parts for your.
All right, so these are obviously the carbon fiber SMC doors. And the thing that I've noticed here is it looks like the upper part is molded in. So I don't know why they did that. It, they're gonna have to cut this part out to put the, um, the upper part of the window in. So if you look here, we're looking at this piece in the render, this carbon fiber piece. And this upper part right here, um, it looks like they pressed it with some carb with the carbon fiber material in there. And I'm not sure why they did that. So you see right here, they're gonna have to cut this part out. Um, I don't know if that was just easier to handle and they thought this bracing piece maybe um, would not survive the appealing off process, um, taking it out of the die but um, they built it so that this needs to be l removed it looks like so there was some decision and you see here that there they do need to clean up the edges and these are parts fresh out of the press and you can see that there's both sides um, i believe this would be the uh, right side and this would be the left side so this is the driver side door and the passenger side door and if you want to count looks like one two three three four five six seven eight 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 pieces so i think there's eight per stack if i'm not mistaken maybe nine yeah because this looks like maybe nine pieces or maybe it's it would make sense that it would be 10 because that would be a nice round number uh, maybe these 10 per stack so if, the, if it is 10 per stack and just i'm not seeing the edges of them very well uh this represents um enough to make uh 10 20 vehicles so one for each side so this is this represents 20 vehicles worth of doors um so it's very exciting four months ago we saw the finished dies and now we're seeing basically the the pressed pieces they're not fully um cleaned up and the middle parts are not done and um let's go back to the video and we will see what uh what Chris says about the timeline. Yeah, so you can see again, um, this is the uh, door door assembly. You can see there's quite a bit of depth to it, so it's probably very rigid, and you know that they're gonna put these metal parts in there, and then the fiberglass part comes in over the top of this. Okay. Or Apteras. It's awesome to see this material being formed, and it's really the basis for what's to come as we push to production. And we're making great progress at our facility here in Carlsbad, California. Our building has solar on it, so we're actually making solar mobility. Someone in Discord asked a question of like, why wouldn't they put the gamma modules up here and and use them as solar and and that would, you know, let them use use them for making power as well as test them. Um, but I believe that this solar these solar panels have been there before Aptera leased it. Um, there's no Aptera is a tenant of this building and there's no reason that they would do this kind of tenant improvement uh, the land the landlord would would have made these improvements so I think the the solar is uh, not Aptera's doing it was there in the building before or the land the uh, building owner has put them in um, because as a tenant you wouldn't you wouldn't want to invest this much money in a building you do not own and you're just leasing it happened with the power of the sun and with that new power, we've done building upgrades here to prepare for production. Solar now has done the first run of production validation panels and they look amazing. Compared to Gamma, this... So remember Gamma had some delamination issues and you saw some of these um, metal connectors kind of separating from the forces of uh, lamination. The Delta builds have a slightly heavier um, and has a few more layers it's a little bit heavier but it's easier to produce um, is what i've heard from sources this is a massive step forward in productionizing these panels i mean it looks a lot cleaner uh, maybe you see i see a little bit of separation there i'm not sure but no delamination or anything like that and so i was told that the uh, delta panels are much m easier to produce and much more reliable and have uh, lower failure rates during manufacture which is always a good thing but they're slightly heavier than the um the process they were using for gamma to be durable lightweight and produce the most power for you once you receive your aptera and we've been awarded an amazing tax exemption for most of the production equipment we'll be putting here in carlsbad california the california alternative energy and advanced transportation financing authority 
has awarded an exemption to us, which will save us millions on the production equipment we'll add here. And our crowdfunding campaign is open again. We hope we've shown you through previous updates that we've used your investment. Okay, so that's also the other big news in this thing is that the crowdfunding is now open. You do not have to be an accredited investor and non-accredited investors can now invest again. It's wisely to invest in tooling and equipment and the designs to get your vehicle to you sooner. We encourage you to help share our story so we can bring solar mobility to the masses and some amazing updates to come. CPC is working hard to commission all the body structure tools and we hope to receive the first production body in the next couple months. So the engineers and supply chain have been working hard to complete our first production intent builds. We're now ordering pieces and parts to have the first production intent vehicle. So see, here's the, um, the fiberglass SMC part that'll come on the outside of those parts that we saw before. And Chris says that um, they are planning on getting the parts in the next couple of months. So I'm thinking best case scenario, there is a Delta build by the end of this year um, and maybe if things don't go perfectly smoothly the first delta builds will be in early 2024 well here in just the next couple months it's an exciting time seeing these first production intent vehicles come to life vehicles that can be driven around as production intent vehicles would and things that could be validated and tested to show the world how amazing Vehicles that can be driven around. Okay, I don't know if we've seen this before, but this is, um, I think, the newest render. I don't know that I've seen this render before, but you can see that the rear view mirror, the center rear view mirror, is no longer on a stock that's attached to the windshield. It is a basically a stationary unit that uh, um, is attached to the roof, and that's kind of makes better sense. It's a little more stable. And this is the part that you can remove and there'll be a separate module that goes in that has the comma AI um, device and would allow for a self-driving or level two driving assistance. Uh, the, usually you have it on a stock so that you can kind of uh, angle it towards you to get a good view of the rear um, when it's a mirror, but because it's a screen, you don't really need to adjust it. It's gonna show exactly what needs to be shown um, without any adjustment. And then as you know, the uh, the gamma console is completely different than the uh, Delta console. The Delta console has this uh, with the rose gold, which some people are fans of and some people are not. It looks like the plus minus pedals are staying intact. And I, I heard that they are planning on using the recycled skateboard material for that. As production intent vehicles would, and things that could be validated and tested to show the world how amazing solar mobility can be. It's been with your support that we're making solar mobility come to life. Okay, and then here's a footage of them going up that hill in San Diego County. And you can tell they're going decently fast. I don't know what it's probably 30 miles per hour up this thing. Um, and you can see that these are different runs. This is a run where they had um, the car following uh, it following a car and they filmed it and this is like drone shots and you don't see the car um, in the drone shots okay so the I think the take-home message here is that they do have these these cool parts um, from CPC and it's these are our our first look at production parts and uh, they look great So they're gonna start making more of these and hopefully by the end of this year, if all goes well, we will see a production intent Delta vehicle, physical Delta vehicle. Um, if things go a little more slowly, I'm thinking maybe early 2024 is when that's gonna happen. Well, tell me what you guys think the timeline is gonna be. Do you think they're gonna have a Delta vehicle by the end of this year or do you think it'll be early next year when that happens? Um, but pretty exciting to see these production parts. Um, and uh, I can't wait till uh, we get a Delta vehicle and we will, I'll definitely go down and check that out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.